Hi and welcome to the Hay Street Press News Minute. I'm Andy Sevilla. Our top story this week surrounds a collision in Buda that left two people dead and six injured. The deceased have been identified as 68-year-old William Bevel and 74-year-old Joyce Wilkerson. The wreck occurred at about 1.25 p.m. Tuesday afternoon on FM 2770 in Buda. Authorities shut down the road for several hours to piece together the investigation and allow victims to be transported to the hospital. We have some video of of the wreckage for you now. Buda police and the DPS will shut down FM 2770 today between 2 and 4 p.m. To investigate the scene further, we'll bring you all those details as they unfold. And in other news, police have a person of interest in the death of a 37-year-old Kyle man whose body was found Sunday afternoon near FM 1626 in Colders Crossing. Police say they're questioning a Hayes High School student who may have been involved in an apparent hit and run that left Philip Duran dead near a well-traveled intersection. Now, police believe Duran set out on a late night run Saturday afternoon and he may have been struck by a vehicle that may have left the scene. Now, his body was found by his brother, Chad Benninghoff, who was assisting police in that investigation. No arrests or charges have been filed as of this, as of today, but of course, we'll bring you all those details as they become available. And we also have another story um, on the Kyle Road Bond, the $36 million road bond that's uh, set to reconstruct Burleson, Lehman, Button, and Goforth Roads and also extend Marketplace Avenue. There's a political action committee, Keep Kyle Moving, who is in support of that bond and we have all of their finances. They've collected apparently $4,400 in the first reporting period of the election, far exceeding any candidate for Kyle City Council or the Hayes School Board, of course. Those numbers are only going to increase as another campaign finance report is due this Friday and of course we'll bring you all those details as that becomes available. For all of this news and the news that's important to you, be sure to pick up a copy of the Hayes Free Press and check us out online at HayesFreePress.com. For your News Minute, I'm Andy Sivia.